is committed and devoted to the people of this city. I've known her for several decades, since my hair looked like my brother Donald's, <laughs> since she was a younger lady. We've worked together over a period of decades, and she works tirelessly every day, whether it be public education, public safety, the betterment of the people of this community. And she gives her her entire life to this community, something everyone in this room should salute and honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of the city of Camden, Dana Ray. Yes, we have known each other for several decades, and while his hair was probably brown like his brother, I was much thinner than I am today, but it is certainly an honor to serve as the mayor of the city Invincible, and that is the city of Camden. Let's get Camden around the show. I certainly want to acknowledge all of our dignitaries who are assembled for this momentous occasion to have our governor, Governor Fitz Christie here, our former governors, Jim Florio and Jim McGreevy, both of whom I've worked with over the course of being in public service to the city of Camden, to all of our distinguished platform guests, to the Cooper family, and to the residents of this great community. It is an honor to see all of us assemble for this occasion that will promise to launch Camden into our future. To our congressmen, Rob Andrews, thank you for the federal funds that you continually deliver to the city of Camden so that we can do the types of activities that our neighborhoods are looking for. And to our governor, I want to pledge my continued partnership with you to stand on the issues of public safety, the issues of education, because those issues are very critical to the revitalization of this city. If we're ever to stand Camden up, we must stand the people up so that we can sustain the progress that has begun, the progress that will continue, not just with this groundbreaking, but with groundbreakings that are soon to come because of the partnership and the fighting and the can-do attitude of George Norcross and others that have come together for this purpose, for this cause. I believe we can do it. I believe it's Camden's time. I believe it's South Jersey's time. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. To George and the, the members of the trustee board, and certainly to John Sheridan, he and I have worked very closely together over a decade or more. What today really signifies, again, is revitalization and transformation. Congressman Andrews talked about rain today and what rain signifies. Yes, it does signify hope and cleansing. But this project will not only bring healing and help to those that are dealing with cancer, it also brings healing and help to a city that has needed it for so long. The neighborhood transformation that is occurring in the Plaza Landing Square neighborhood has begun because of the vision of George Norcross T board, for we know that without a vision, the people perish. And so it was the patient care pavilion that was open in 2009. And we are soon awaiting the grand opening of the Cooper Medical School of Rowan University. And we are breaking ground here for the Cooper Cancer Institute. But not only has Cooper advanced health care along the eds and meds, we have also partnered with Cooper to do neighborhood transformation for workforce housing, for greening spaces and parks and places that young people should grow up in. I'm grateful for this partnership of our eds and meds for it certainly speaks to the future of Camden. And I will continue on my end with the administration, working with the legislature, working with the government, and working with the people to address and step to public safety like never before. Because Camden must be safe if we're going to sustain what we're doing. And Camden must educate our children to prepare them for their future. So let's go Camden. It's Camden's time. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> 